Hello, hello. So uh, thank you to, to who is here with me live. And um, we are going to start together to uh, with our Monday session by giving ourselves a little stretch like we usually do. Uh, find it badly needed today. So stretch your arms, you know, roll your shoulders, stretch your neck. Oh, get those, you know, bones cracking if you need to. And when you feel good and ready, just close your eyes, sit down, and first get, get a sense of the weight and space that your body occupies, how big it is, how heavy it is, where it is in relation to the room that you're in, and feel the weight of it on your seat. Also feel the weight of your feet on the ground. Basically feel gravity. And as you feel your feet touching the ground, maybe press them even, even deeper into the ground as if you're giving a little a little pat on the back to the earth, you know, saying, saying, uh, hello, I'm here. I feel you. I hear you. Thank you for allowing our existence on this plane. And maybe you're going to feel, or you can imagine as if the earth in response to you, you know, is uh, amping up the energy and you can feel its energy a little bit louder and and more vibrantly as if you're in communication like you're with the earth it's your friend and when you've done that just um Bring your focus, your attention, your awareness back up along your legs and your, your torso and make it land in your chest, into your heart. And into your heart, maybe you can hear your heart, maybe you can feel your heart, or maybe you just need to put your hand on top of your heart in order to connect with it. It doesn't matter how you do it. But when you feel centered and connected to the heart, just then allow yourself to, to imagine as if you're breathing in and out through the heart, as if your heart had a nose, and when you breathe in, you visualize your breath entering the heart. And when you breathe out, you visualize your breath flowing out from your heart. And as you keep doing that, I'm going to invite you to do that in, in the most regular, balanced, rhythmic way possible. So that every time you breathe in and every time you breathe out, it's the same length of time that you're seeing the breath flowing in and the breath flowing out. So allow yourself to find a timing that is comfortable. Anything around the the um, timing of five seconds in, five seconds out is usually great. So you can go a little faster or a little slower, but around this timing is perfect. And we'll do, we'll do that together for another minute in silence before the next step so that we got time to find our rhythm.
Okay, and as you keep this visualization following your breathing, just gonna talk you through a few questions and contemplations. And first, just gonna invite you to remind yourself of what is what is the vision for, for your life? What's the vision for your life? And if you notice that, oh, I don't have a vision for my life, it's okay, no stress, just notice. Notice that is something maybe to put a little bit of thought into later on. And maybe if you don't have a general vision for that far ahead, maybe you have a, a vision for uh, the shorter term, for the year or for, for the month, shorter goals. So just remind yourself of what you know is ahead of you that you desire, that is important to you. Remind yourself where you're heading, where you want to head, actually. Where do you do want, desire to head towards? And now we are going to contemplate where you possibly are possibly heading for real. And if it's not aligned, we're going to do a little course correction. So my next question for you is just to allow yourself to think about, to review what happened in the past week. How did last week go? What happened that worked well for you? What did you judge that did not work well or not enough for you? and inviting you to be as neutral about it as possible. It's not about judging yourself, just, uh, just look at it as objectively as you can. Think about it in the terms of what do you want to keep? What do you want more of? And what do you want to change? What do you want to let go of? What do you want more of? What do you want less of? And as you're reviewing your past week, as you know by now, you can either focus on one area of your life or, or do this in a more broad and general manner. You can consider your personal life, your hobbies, your relationships, your the causes you support, community, your spiritual life, everything that's important to you. And you can also, like I do, just allow what comes to you to come to you without without selecting particularly. Okay, now that we had a little review of 
last week. My next question is, if last week was to repeat itself, or a version of itself was to repeat over and over, would that bring you closer to your vision or the goals that you want to achieve or not? Would that start to, to draw a trajectory that brings you closer to your goal, that is pointing towards your goals, or is it pointing a few degrees on the side or is it pointing completely you know way out of the way just allow yourself to think that way if if you keep going like you've been going on last week and and up until last week are you heading towards the bullseye of of what you want to achieve or are you just going to hit the wall? Again, no judgment. If it's not going the way you would like to, it's actually great news to know that now. So value this as information so that you're getting that awareness sooner than later. And now we're going to start to envision how could it be different moving forward. So now I'm going to invite you to, to allow your imagination to go wild and imagine the best possible week to come. What could possibly be happening? What could you possibly make happen as well? That would, that would change the trajectory of that you're on and, and make you absolutely happy and fulfilled, bring you closer to your goals, Basically, what's the best scenario week that you can possibly imagine? And the important word here is imagine. I'm not asking you to be even realistic. Just go beyond whatever, whatever your imagination allows you to, to see, feel, or hear in your mind's eyes. Again, allow yourself to dream whatever you can think of, whatever you can imagine. And now I'm also going to invite you to, to set a special intention to be open to, to receive anything beyond what your imagination allows you to to see right now. These are the things that you're able in the current state of your awareness, the thing that you're able to possibly envision, but there are so many more possibilities out there that you're not able to, to even grasp. I just 
want you to have that intention to be open to the unexpected. The unexpected that is aligned to your goals and the unexpected that is for your highest, your highest good and the highest good of the people around you too. And as you're doing this, as you've been imagining these best possible stories and scenarios now, notice how you how that makes you feel. What's the feeling that goes with it? Remember, your mind doesn't know the difference between real or imagined. So if you've done your imagine your imagining right mm -hmm. right now. Your mind doesn't know that it's not real yet. So, so the feelings are able to come too. So allow yourself to feel them. And maybe it's, uh, maybe you feel more exhilarated or, or happy or joyful or grateful. Maybe you feel calmer or peaceful. Whatever it is for you, I'm going to invite you to allow yourself to, to feel them grow even more within yourselves. And to do that, we're going to imagine as if the feelings themselves are flowing in and out directly through our hearts, exactly as we were doing at the beginning with our breath. So every time you breathe out, imagine these feelings flowing out from your heart. And when you breathe in, imagine they're flowing back in, only stronger. And then they're flowing out. They're flowing back out again, stronger, and back in again, stronger. Building up this sensations in the body, the sensations that are aligned on, on the, the pictures, the vision that you've just created for yourself, for your future. So as you're doing this, you're raising your vibration. Now, as you keep breathing in and now these sensations, these feelings. I'm going to invite us to imagine, to tap into your sci-fi, your wildest sci-fi memories. I'm going to invite you to imagine that every time you breathe out these feelings, they're shooting out from your heart like, like a laser beam projecting in front of you and as if there this is like a laser beam that is drawing opening like a portal right in front of you like a portal in time and space And whether it doesn't matter whether there is such a thing, we've seen enough movies to very well imagine a portal in time and space opening up in front of us. And now let's imagine as if we are walking through the portal and stepping into that future that we've just created.
and that here we are connecting all of our cells, all the, our whole body is connecting with the field of possibilities that we have that we have created that we have that we have um drawn earlier I mean, the field of possibilities is always there. But it's as if we've raised our vibration so that we're able to connect with everything within the field of possibilities that is now a vibrational match for, for what we have imagined earlier. So we are now in that imagined future And we are connecting with all of the information in the field that corresponds to that high vibration. So we're connecting with possibilities, which means we're connecting with new ideas, connecting with new opportunities we are laying out the seeds for new connections with people new ways of thinking of thinking new opportunities new 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 everything And so as you breathe in and out, as you breathe in, I'm going to invite you to really imagine as if you're soaking in and bringing it all of this information, new information into your heart, into your body. Breathe it all in. And when you breathe out, breathe out gratitude for it. When you breathe in, breathe in all of these new connections. And when you breathe out, breathe out your availability to these connections. Everything that you have to offer as well. And let's do this with three more deep breaths as if we are really soaking everything in before before the end of our session so with me one deep breath in and out through the heart and back in back out And in again. And out again. Wonderful. So now, as this brings, brings us to the end of our session, first we're going to bring ourselves back to the here and now. And to do that, let's um, rub our hands together and starting by the top of our heads, touching the top of our heads and the sides of our head, our face, the back of our head, our neck, mm -hmm. the top of our shoulders, our chest and down from our shoulders all the way down from our arms to our hands. And again, starting from the top of the torso all the way down the torso, the sides of the body, 
the back as much as you can, the hips, and touching all the way down your legs, your knees go down, all the way down to your feet, if you can, and if you can, even just pressing your hands on your feet, and again, connecting with the earth that way. If you can, you can also place your hands on the ground. And, and when you're ready, opening your eyes again, being right here, right now. <laughs> and with that, I thank you very much for this session and I shall see you next week. Bye.